361 Corpus Christi, Texas here. So this is my MFJ 870 SWR and wattage meter. It has a 300 watt scale, 30 watt scale, and a 3000 watt scale. It has a light up meter and this is your SWR calibration knob, your function knob, and your range knob. And then it also has PEP and average. Now in manufacturing, I believe when they're making it, they didn't weld it all the way or something, but half of this knob here broke off and in turn routed out the inside of my knob. So I couldn't turn this knob to go through my functions whatsoever. So if you just pull those off and pull off your calibration knob, we're gonna go on the inside here. And if you can hear it, we're gonna take that out. And then on the back side of this sucker, the top lug here is your transmitter, which is your radio. The bottom lug is your antenna. And then this has a 12 volt DC plug for the light on the meter. So it has two screws here to take off the cover, two screws here to take off the cover. And then it has two screws here and then two, one screw on each side on the inside to pull this front panel off. So let's go ahead and pull that off now. And when you first get it, because I've already taken it off, because when I first got it, it wasn't uh, working because the ground connections were undone. So I had to solder, solder those together. But when you first get it out of the box, these screws here on the outside cover, they are Loctite. I almost rounded them just taking it off. Now, since the piece that's loose on the inside of the meter is small, if it does wiggle its way out already, then I'll, I'll pull it all the way out to show you what actually broke. And the screwdriver that I'm using is an iFixit screwdriver. It does have removable tips and it, the tips are magnetic or the entire screwdriver is magnetic. So to get the cover off, you're gonna take the bottoms and you're gonna, you're gonna pull them out to the sides and lift up. now before you pull it off this is your knobs right here this is your calibrate knob this is your uh, your range and this is your function now this is your meter and you're gonna have to undo which I already did the top three wires here go into your top one here and then your two wire goes on to the side connector here you do have to remember that then this is the meter now these this ground right here wasn't soldered together when i got it so i had to solder that so what you're going to do is you can take off the one screws on both sides these were not loctite but they were on pretty tight Just set them aside. Take this other one off. And then to actually take the face plate off, you're gonna have screws on the bottom that you're gonna have to take off. And you got these two right here that you're gonna take off. These two right here, you're gonna leave those there because those actually just hold on the feet. So you're gonna pull it off carefully. And once you pull it off, you're gonna flip it up. And you're gonna angle it and go inside the box. That way you don't pull these wires apart. And then there's one screw right here in the middle of the board that you gotta take off to actually get the board out. This screw was not tight whatsoever. And when you put it back in, you don't want to over tighten it whatsoever. So now the board is loose. And there's the piece right there. 
Oh, I tried to get it out, but it fell back in. So let's pull this out. And there's one clip on each side. And there's a clip here and here. This clip is actually attached to the side of the case. So to get that one, you got to really pull on that one. There you go. And we pull the board out. There's the board. This is the piece that broke. That's the other side of this knob right there. So this piece here went right there. <coughs> Coda, no! My dog's barking because I made a noise that sounded like someone was at the door. So that broke off and fell down like this. So we'll pull that out. What you got here is this is your calibrate knob here. This is your range knob. And this is your function. And this is your, your PEP. Your PEP. And these are your adjustments. Do not go turn in these knobs if you don't know what they are because the labels on them are very very small and i have not yet figured out what what these do so i don't mess with them out of the box the only reason i open it is because it wasn't working and that one piece broke now i did find out in the ifixit kit that the 5.0 nut driver i guess actually fits perfectly on the this right here so this could be my new knob so I take the Phillips off I can put the nut driver on and I can turn my settings or my functions so that's on power and now we're gonna go back together so the switch has to go on the bottom right here. Now this board, when it comes out, it does not like going back in. Oh, I think this time it's actually going pretty easily. It did. Alright, now we're going to put the middle screw back in, put the Phillip tip back on, Slide the face back on. And these bottom pins here, or feet, have to go on the outside of the case. And then these fins here have to go on the inside of that one. So you get one side, and then you're going to pull the slightly pull the front face apart to get it to fit in its groove. Okay. And you can turn it to the side. And we're gonna put the 
I usually like to put the side face screws in first. That way I know it's held. Where did it? other face plate screw on bottom ones on Plug the two connectors on. Remember the three wire here goes on the top one. The two wire goes on the side. Now ready to put the top on. And we'll pull the bottoms out just slightly. That way they can slide on. Get these outside screws on. meter is all back together everything functions so we're gonna put the uh, range knob on all right so we got 30 watt 300 watt 3000 watt now we're going to turn the range all the way to the min. Okay, that's all on the min. We're going to line it up to the min. It stops at max. Goes to the min. That's perfect. And then we can't turn this one with the knob anymore. So we use the number 5.0 nut driver from the iFixit kit. And we can turn from the different functions. All right, like, comment, and subscribe. That's taking apart the MFJ 870 SWR meter.